Hello everybody, welcome back. In this video I'm going to uh, be explaining a bit more about color mode in uh, GB Studio and a bit more about the backgrounds because I know a few of you might uh, still be a bit um, not completely understanding about how it works. So I'm going to try and uh, shed some light on the situation. So uh, obviously I've opened up a sample here. Um, this is what I was using my uh, AI following cats video um, but as you can see this background is colored in if we hide everything we can see that uh, there's browns and reds and blues uh, and it might it might be confusing because when you actually look in the uh, um, in the background section and you and you find that um, sample town it's all green and obviously, if you were to make this, um, make or change this map, you would, you would have to have it green. Um, and that's because your the 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 color mode is like an upgrade from the the base Game Boy. So uh, it still works the same, but the Game Boy changes the colors of each um, of each tile, and that's why you can paint it. So. So yeah, so when you make the background, you have to physically um, keep it in those four colors, and then you can come in and you can paint it a different color. So obviously, I've just selected one of these little things up here, and uh, I'm just painting it. Uh, and what and to keep in mind, you only have six palettes up here. You see at the top right here. Um, so if I was to if I was to change one of these palettes, it would it would just automatically change. Um, you see the water change color there because I swapped out the palette. Uh, so you need to keep in mind that uh, the palettes, uh, if you're using them on one scene, you can't just uh, change the palettes. Uh, you know the colors in the palette. You have to create a new palette if you want to, if you want different colors. So you, I think you can have as many palettes as you want, and I'll show you right here. Um, these are the, obviously the basic ones that it gives you, and you can change the colors of them so that you know they're automatically different but I don't like using these because you can't change the name of them uh, and it's much it's much nicer when you can change the name so I'll show you how to create a palette now so you just press that plus button and then down at the bottom it's create a new one and you can call this whatever you want to call it right so I'll call it test palette how the hell do you spell palette <laughs> um, is that how you spell palette I don't think it matters maybe two L's but uh so what you need to keep in mind now is that uh, obviously these are the colors that you expect to see, right? Um, so the lightest is is the white and the darkest is the black. And obviously you can completely flip these and, and it will make the game look inverted. But I think if you were to actually export the game and put it onto a, an original Game Boy, it would still be the, the light is the light and the dark is the dark. Uh, rather than, you know, if I copied this and put it here, it wouldn't show up like this because it, it's a Game Boy, right? It doesn't have the color mode. The color mode is editing the colors. So uh, yeah, you want to keep that in mind. You probably want to keep your tiles in the same, you know, dark to light uh, format, you know, um, because of that reason. Unless, of course, you have no intention of putting it on the Game Boy. This, if you have no intention of putting it on the actual Game Boy, <clears throat> then you, then all of this stuff is, uh, you know, you can do whatever you want with it, and there's no problem in changing it because there's no, there's nothing else to worry about. So if I create a, a palette here, let's let's make it really interesting. Okay, so you see, I have this random palette I made. So to get this palette into the into the map, what you have to do is just with these six colors up here, you change it down, and uh, and now this color is part of this. So obviously you can see stuff like the door and the house has changed already. Um, but now this color is the color being used. So obviously you need to keep in mind that uh, if you've only got six palettes then a huge map you'll need to be conservative with the way you you color things. Obviously if you have a, if you have a title screen and uh, that means you have a lots and lots of colors to to make it pop and make it as good as you can make it. Okay, so some of you might also be asking, well, I don't want color mode, and it's starting color mode, so if we go to settings, uh, you can just 
untick enable color mode. And then if we go back to the game world, you see it's all green again. And obviously, uh, if everything's all green, then you don't have to worry about uh, the colors. And yeah, you know, there's nothing really to do. But if you enable color mode again, if you click on this thing, it, it prompts you to do it. Then all of that stuff will be back. Uh, and you see it's it's still the same stuff I had it. So you don't lose any of your stuff if you switch it between it, which might be a, a good idea to try if um, if if you know if you're new to this, the colors might be a bit overwhelming, um, and especially if you don't if you don't really uh, understand or you don't want to waste the time on it, because uh, if it's your first game, I I wouldn't recommend worrying about it almost at all, uh, unless of course the game relies on color, um, then then maybe you'd want to. Uh, but yeah, so keep in mind that these backgrounds um obviously if we go to sample town press edit um it it prompts us it prompts it to bring it up in our preferred um you know image viewing software uh but what i'm going to do now is i'm going to is i'm just going to take that that background and just put it into gimp and i've made a video on gimp before it's basically like paint or photoshop um so I'll just find the image. Okay, so I've just dragged it in, uh, and it should be loading. Uh, and as you can see, this is exactly the background that uh, we were looking at before, and that's how GB Studio works. You p you just feed it an image, and it uses it to to do whatever it wants to do. Uh, you know, with the with the game engine. So if we press Show Grid, it's on sixteen by sixteen automatically, but if I configure it to 8x8, we can literally see the tiles. Um, and so this is, obviously if you were to accidentally move it by one pixel, it would be completely messed up. Um, but to keep in mind here, you know, each of these, you can see they're, they're the same. Um, and obviously this, it would be much easier if this uh, was put into tiled because you could see each tile, right? Um, and I've, I think I've made a video about tiled before. Um, but yeah, so let's say we want to make this, uh, you know, this uh, lake a little bigger. We just we can just copy and paste it around. I'll put some bits on the edges. And I'm I'm making sure to keep the. Um, the same tiles. I'm I'm making sure to copy and paste it from, uh, from the map so that I'm not creating more tiles. If I if it was a very small map, I wouldn't be uh, that worried about creating more tiles because it's so big. Uh, I don't know how close it's to the limit. We can see in GB Studio though. Um, if I go back to GB Studio and we click on this this uh, map, you can see it's actually 62 tiles, and obviously you can have a maximum of 190 something 192 maybe so we've got like 130 tiles to to use um so i could easily just mess around here and i could just i could just write my name in the floor uh okay because i uh because i had so many tiles i wrote my name on the floor to show you uh how you update these maps so imagine you saw like oh this flower looks weird or something uh you could easily just remove it right and just like I uh, made the lake bigger I wrote my name on it um, so if we overwrite sample town.png and then we head back into uh, into GB studio it's all is already updated and if it doesn't you can go into uh, I think it's yeah file and then there's a bit called reload assets uh, and now if we click on it we can see there's 127 unique tiles um, which is a lot more, but obviously it it's not it's not at the max. So this is how backgrounds work, right? You you just create an image, uh, you try and create it with the tiles so that you can keep this tile limit down, um, and then you can basically do whatever you want. If you're in color mode, you can easily just paint on the tiles. Um, I could if I use my thing, I might be able to make my my name red. Oops, bad. Yeah, and obviously, uh, keep in mind as well that your if you update the uh, background, 
it will haven't updated the collision automatically. So we would have to draw that in for the lake again, uh, just so that you know it's consistent. So that's another thing to keep in mind. But yeah, uh, that is this is the very very basics of uh, GB Studio here. But I know some of you um, might have been struggling with it, and I hope I was able to help. Uh, so, so yeah. Also keep in mind if you're if you update this, you you will have updated every other scene that was referencing it, right? So as you can see, this uh, map with all the cats in has the uh, New York Lake and my name on the bottom and the flowers missing. Um, so yeah. So just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, I hope this helped in any way at all. Um, if this is the kind of video that you like to see, then please give me a thumbs up and uh, maybe leave a comment. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, thanks for watching.